I'm not sure why I'm doing this really, because you can all read instructions. Um, I am going to show you a quick video first, because one of you knows what Transomancia means, but because uh, they looked it up in a translation you did last week, but I'm just going to show you a quick burst so you can understand. I don't know if you can hear the sound on this, or if you're just going to listen to me. So I don't know if the sound of the video came through. So it's Transomancia is moving your um, flock from one place to another. It could be across a massive bit of Spain, or it could just be um, locally. But it's very traditional. Um, and in, in England with sheep, they just sit in a field. In Spain, when you see sheep, they've got a man and a dog with them. Uh, and they move about, and they occupy little bits of land, and they have rights, and there are roads. This isn't sheep. We're going to be looking at this is vacas y el toro bravo, and really they're just using it to mean moving it f with the seasons to a different place, not long distances in this case. Okay, before watching the video, that's not that video, it's another one in a minute, read these little snippets and just highlight the words you understand. Don't write anything down here, you'll need this space in a minute. Let me see if I can make this bigger for us. There we go, that's nice. So I'd go highlight this word. There you go, look lovely. Uh, acompañar. And obviously your brain is trying to make sense of more of the sentence. But at the moment we're just looking for words that we know and you're starting to think about it. But you're not getting carried away, you're not panicking. That's why I'm doing this video, tell you not to panic. Right, where's my undo button so I don't have to go back and undo that later. Okay, so that's what you'll be doing. Um, then, when you've gone through all these things, just looking for the things that you know, skip this grid, because I'm nice, I've put this grid on the same page as the sentences that have to go into it, but don't do it yet. You're going to watch another video, which is here, I'll show you. Again, I don't know if you've got sound. And it's an excellent video um, for year 12 and 13. For year 12, for looking at regions of Spain and their nice traditions and how they're linked to the, mi the modern day, or whether they're just symbolic of something that has actually changed. And the year 13 as well, for social change, um, hanging on to your traditions, whether it actually means anything, um, and the roles of people within that, uh, and their lives, and whether Spain is a modern country, or a not so modern country, or a nice mixture. So, you've watched the video. The things here, the little snippets, are things that you have heard in the video, okay? Um, so you'll have that in your head already when you watch it. I don't want you to have the script in front of you, it's not a script anyway, it's just snippets. But as you watch, you'll get a lot from the pictures and from what people say. And then um, you can come back to this and see if it makes any more sense and write some notes next to it, probably in English, just explaining what you think is going on, okay? So you'll have got a bit, a bit more under the understanding. You'll know Colmenar Viejo is a place. Um, okay. After you've done that, after you've used the video to help understand the words and the words to help understand the video, now re-watch it and see if things start to make more sense. And then you can look up some of the key words in those snippets and see if that unlocks the whole sentence. And then, yeah, sort these out. So sentences like, um, Acompañan la vaquilla rumbo a su nueva dehesa. I think you'll work out what that is. Once you've seen the video, you already knew this word. That's a lovely word, but it goes with this one, rumbo a. So you could possibly work that out. You know that word. That one you might have to look up. 
or you might guess what it means and actually look it up. Okay, I know what it means, but not because everyone's ever told me, just because I've met it in context so many times I've worked it out. Do the same for the rest of this. Do a bit of looking up and a bit of thinking. And then it is time for question four. Just check. Yes, write out the snippets in the column of the grid you think they belong in. Well, let's look at the columns. What actually happens in La Vaquilla? So you'll find the things from here and pop them in. It's a little bit up to you because you might think, well, that's also a tradition. This one is more about things linking it to the past, um, previous generations, um, things that have always happened, passed on from father to son, um, when it started, that kind of thing. So yeah, that, that sort of thing will go in this column and then change and relevance today. And again, it's, of course, it's linked to the past. So you might wonder, oh, should I put it in? Don't worry too much about where it goes. Put it in a sensible box. Um, write them in if I were you. I suppose you could drag it in and drop it in if you're working in Word. But it's always good to write things out. It helps you remember. Then you'll have got quite a nice little thing explaining what happens in the festival, what we know about its traditions, its roots, its permanence, and then some changes today. And there are a couple, and it's really quite a nice example. I'm very pleased I found it. And then you're going to write it up. Um, what is Lavaquilla? Where? When? What happens? I didn't ask, actually ask you to listen out for when. It is on the video towards the end. It's the, oh, I don't know, it's the 2nd or the 6th of February or something like that. That might be totally wrong. Listen near the end if you care that much. It's more about the changes that matter, really, isn't it? I sounded very Norfolk then, isn't it? Why is it important? Well, now we know what Thrasal Manthea is, different generations, tradition and symbol. And write it up in your own words, but you can always pinch a bit of what you had in here. And then, when you've done that, here's another video, uh, which is really quite weird. It's... Well, you'll see what it is. But they are trying to do a let's protect our actual ancient rights that we don't really need anymore. Um, by inventing a traditional style fiesta, which has only been around for about 25 years, which I know for you is a long time, but it's not a long time, um, to protect an ancient right that they don't really need anymore. And then you can write something intelligent about whether it's just, just a symbol or whether symbols are actually really important because it um, links you to your, your past or whether the continuity is just a myth and actually they've changed, or whether it's important that they keep that link to the past, which is what we've been talking about with Spain. Okay, get all that written up and send it to me. Lovely.